hi Capricorn welcome back to my channel I hope you guys are doing well today this is going to be for Capricorn Sun Moon Rising Venus and North Node please remember to flip and switch the roles I could be talking about someone else in your energy also remember to just um take what resonates and leave what does not fit okay so let's see Capricorn what is going on with you guys what is going on for Capricorn spirit Sun Moon Rising Venus North Node what is going on for Capricorn what do they need to hear at this time Okay, so bottom of the deck is cleaning house, eliminating undesirables. The moment I saw this, some of you guys need to um, uh, work around your home. Maybe you're needing to redecorate or, you know, um, declutter is what I'm picking up to. But this could be you eliminating, uh, just letting a lot of people go. Okay, that's that you are not, that's not supposed to be on your journey, this period. <laughs> so what else? So we have sheeple, follows the crowd. Okay, so somebody here is a follower. Somebody needs to take the lead in their own life. And then we have disappointments, unfulfilled and unsatisfied. Hmm. I'm getting something about being loyal to the wrong situation. Okay, so we have both cards came up bottom of the deck is multiple babies <laughs> mari povich style drama so before i even uh got on camera i saw this um this card so there could be a lot of baby mama baby daddy drama <laughs> like so we have poetic justice retribution and then we have cursing themselves bad decisions and regret so that came out together i'm going to keep them two together uh, okay i'm hearing something about redemption somebody wants to be redeemed Let's see. Hmm. Let's see what happened here. What's going on for Capricorn Spirit? What is this? What is this cleaning house card? What is this about? Yeah, some of you guys are walking away from a home situation, a family dynamic. Yeah, something is just not for you anymore, or these people aren't for you anymore. So, let's see. Okay, bottom of the deck, Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. Some of you guys are needing to get rest. You're overworking yourself, Capricorn. That is your energy. You will work until the death of you. <laughs> you guys need to get some rest, okay? You're trying to maybe um hone in on a new skill that you're, um. I don't know, you're honing in on a new skill or something. Some of you guys could be in school. You're working really, really hard in school. I'm, I'm getting like late nights, you know, long ass, drawn out days. Like you guys need to get rest. You're burdened, you're stressed out. Some of you guys could move a lot for work like boxes or something like that that you have to do but uh, you're really really focused on your career and your stability but you're forgetting to take care of yourself blessings won't come in until you do so i'm telling you spirit wants you to rest and take time for yourself and and continue to work you need to have balance so um hmm you could have gotten a new job. This could be a new job here that's like wearing you out. Some of you guys could be like bored with your job or you're just seeing that this job is like, I don't know, it's like really weighing you down or something. What's this cleaning house card? Oh, you just have a lot of responsibilities and, you're, and work is, is a getaway for you. Like you can clear your head at work or something like that. And you go home and have to deal with a whole bunch of shit. But what is cleaning house? What is this? Okay, queen of wands, king of wands. So two people here already. That's not even you, Capricorn. So these could be people here that you're getting rid of, right? You could be getting rid of somebody that has feelings for you, but they, maybe they don't share their emotions or their feelings with you, or maybe they're scared to be vulnerable with you and open up. And then you have somebody else here. We're going to see who's who. We're going to have to clarify these to see who, uh, who they are. Yeah, then we have um, the devil card wanted to poke out with the three of cups. So it could be a lot of friends, family members, a lot of people that you're going to have to be have courage to like leave in order for you to gain stability you know what's um what else for cleaning house with the king of cups and the queen of wands so we can figure out who these people are yeah nine of wands in reverse yeah this is you just giving up you're not putting in any more work i feel like a lot of these people that you're around you've lost a lot of respect for them you really did lose a lot of respect for them these people they don't have any morals or no principles to you it's like you've just given up hope okay you're losing faith in the situation yeah or these people 
Mm -hmm. Who's this King of Cups? So the moon. Yeah, so this King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It doesn't have to be those signs, but that's the energy of the card. You could be dealing with the strong Cancer or Pisces placement. But um, there could be a lot of fears and anxieties around this person. This person, they could be hiding a lot of shit too. They could be hiding the fact that they're in a marriage already or in, a, in another relationship too. I just feel called to say that. But I feel like somebody's hiding their emotions or hiding their feelings. And because of that, I feel like you don't have time for this shit, so you're moving on. You don't have time for nobody that keeps lying about shit that is nice. Like, why lie about your feelings? So I feel like somebody's scared of being vulnerable. They're really scared of being vulnerable here. And they could be lying and hiding other shit too. But yeah, Ace of Pentacles with the Queen of Cups. So this could be your match, your pair, a divine counterpart that wants to start something with you. But they're hiding a lot of shit. They could be a cleaning house. They could be the ones like getting rid of certain people, places and things that are not serving them. There could be a lot of fears and anxieties with doing this though. Somebody could be scared of leaving people behind or whatever the fuck. But what's this Queen of Wands? Okay, Eight of Pentacles. What's this Queen of Wands? Okay, Knight of Wands. So this is like fearless energy. This is having the confidence. So you could be this Queen of Wands, Capricorn, or this could be somebody else. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be, but... This is like um, breaking out of those fears and anxiety. So I feel like you and somebody here are on two different pages. Somebody here is fearful of leaving people behind. And then you're the one that's like breaking free from a lot of shit. And living life on your own terms. Being free. Being brave and having the courage to do whatever this is that you have to do. For some of you, you could be dealing with somebody that's just in and out of your life. It could be a feminine energy that's like very much so in and out, in and out. They don't really commit. They could be very much so non-committal. Very much so into how they look their image and they just don't have any substance so but let's see one more for this queen of wands with this knight of wands this is enthusiastic yeah three of wands in reverse a lot of wands so a lot of fire energy but uh this could be happening over the next few days it could be within three to nine days things could be unfolding or whatever i'm saying could be unfolding in three to nine days but yeah, so with this Queen of Wands, Knight of Wands, and the Three of Wands in reverse, this is like feeling restricted or trapped. So somebody here could be trying to trap you, or you just feel trapped having to deal with these people. And you could be scared of breaking free from them. Three of Wands in reverse also talks about a failed, could be a failed long distance relationship. Somebody here could be trying to travel towards you to, to fix something, but I feel like something has failed. Or somebody here has lacked the confidence to do something for a while. Now they're breaking free to do it or something. But, um, yeah, this is something that's delayed or not pro not progressing or something like that. What's the nine of wands in reverse? Yeah, now we have another person. So there's a lot of people coming out already. King of Cups, Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords, a lot of court cards. So some of you guys could even be going through a divorce. This Queen of Swords is giving me divorce vibes. They always give me vibes of a divorce or some type of breakup. But I feel like this is more so you setting boundaries. You've given up on these people. It's really not you've given up. It's just that people just won't change their way. So it's like, why? Just why? Why stay stuck somewhere that's just going to stunt your growth? I feel like these people can't let go of you. Three of Wands in reverse is, is not having a, a sense of foresight. And this is people that... um. They feel, I feel like these people feel restricted in their lives, so they try to keep you down or hold you back or whatever from something that you want to do. And it's like, no, 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 no. If you feel stuck, then that's on you. Yeah. So I feel like this is you setting boundaries. Yeah, so you can heal and grow and mature and do what you have to do. The star is definitely healing. This is a positive shift or a positive turnaround. This is being optimistic about your future and about whatever that you're going through. So if you feel like um, these people are mad at you or or uh, you feel like you're losing something, I feel like you're going to realize sooner than later that you're not losing anything. They're losing out on you because you're the one that's having to get rid of them because of something that they're doing. Or it's just some people are just not meant to be with you on your journey. I don't know how many signs I had to tell this today. You know, they're just not meant to be. And once you realize that, you'll be you'll be fine. And eventually if these people want to come back in your life they'll get it together <laughs> you know like they'll get it together but let, let me see who's this queen of swords 
Okay, yeah, the emperor. Wow, another person. So we have four people here already on the first card, and I'm clarifying. So somebody here is very bossy. This could be your own mother or your father. It could be both people that are very bossy. I feel like you're giving up on them. You're giving up on exes, sisters, brothers, whoever, whoever the fuck. These people are trying to abuse their position of authority with you. I feel like there's no structure. There's no security. There's like, you know... You could be dealing with somebody that's an absentee parent figure too. So this could be your own father or mother that's absent and now they want to pop back up. Or this could be a baby daddy or baby mother that don't take care of their fucking kids. And they're trying to boss your mind and tell you what to do. And I feel like you had to set boundaries with them. You did. Because I feel like they're very codependent on your energy. They just want to be around just to piss you off or I, I don't know. But they definitely try to abuse their position of authority with you. So you could be cutting them off. Just period. So there, there is people that you have to set boundaries with boundaries with and that's okay people that don't respect your boundaries don't belong in your life just period anybody that loves you and respects you is going to respect your boundaries the first time you say something about it just period and if they don't then they, they show more of their ass than what you're doing so okay what's the sheeple card and a lot of people are stuck on their past three of wands in reverse is definitely somebody that's being stuck on the past they're not growing they're not expanding they're not looking towards the future they have no sense of direction they don't know what they want where they want to go so that's just it is what it is what's the sheeple card follows the crowd so we have um yeah the devil the four of wands the page of pentacles you could be dealing with the capricorn or this is you some of you guys could be living in a toxic home a toxic household or you could just be around toxic people a toxic environment some of you guys are needing to get a, a tarot reading or watch tarot here to gain more insight or maybe watch it more often. Not be obsessed with it because the, the, the devil with the page of pentacles could talk about you being obsessed with tarot or some type of spell work or something like that. Don't don't be codependent on it, but definitely watch enough for you to gain insight and take the steps that you need to move forward because that's what it's here for. Tarot is specifically here for guidance, just like astrology, numerology, all the those divination practices. If you use them for good, they're here. They're a tool to guide you. But the people here, they don't want you to know that that's what it's for. So they try to hide that aspect. They don't want you to know your birth chart or anything. They want you to continue to follow the crowd. And I feel like somebody... So this is what this reading is about. I feel like somebody here is stuck listening to a community of people. Or they're, they're either stuck in a toxic-ass marriage with a child. I feel like somebody's trying to plan to get out of something. But something is toxic. Something is just very toxic with the devil. Somebody's attached to somebody that's toxic or attached to a toxic belief system or way of being you know it's just time to let it go but we're gonna see what this is this could be addiction somebody has an addiction issue or something like that <clears throat> but uh let's see what is this devil card yeah two of wands in reverse this is fear of change fear of change fear of making a, a certain decision Fear of what people will say about you. Fear of just shit that doesn't really even matter. That that shit would never matter, ever. But it takes people a while to understand. And if anybody understands, I do. But, um, you know, two of wands in reverse is like choosing to stay comfortable. Somebody is still in their comfort zone. And this is what's holding somebody back. Somebody's like following the crowd or following what other people are saying or scared of being judged or criticized. But with the Tower, Scorpio, Aries energy, this is going to happen to regardless. And somebody's going to have to break free and do the healing work to regardless if that's what they want to do or not. You know, that's just how life works. That's how the universe works. If you don't do it, it's, the universe is going to do it for you. So, I mean, lighten the load and lighten the pressure by doing it yourself. <laughs> if you do it yourself... And just go through the motions of it, which is probably easier said than done. And that's fine. You'll be okay. But if spirit has to do it, you're not going to like it because things are going to be falling apart. And you're not going to be able to catch your balance until a little bit later. So, you know, but the two of wands in reverse, I feel like somebody here is just missing out on opportunities because they're scared to change. There's a lot of delays in someone's life or you're experiencing a lot of delays or this is somebody else. Some of you guys are, are have turned down a business opportunity that could have led you down a different path. But because you didn't choose it, you're stuck here. This is like karma or something that somebody's experiencing. <sighs> yeah. Somebody... Uh... This is like somebody being indecisive too. Somebody doesn't know what they want or what they want to do. 
So th this person here could have returned to something, or this is you. You returned somewhere that you weren't supposed to be. Some of you guys feel like you don't have any options, nowhere to turn or, or what to do. This is also a lack of planning too, so. Hmm, what's this um, four of wands? Okay, Spirit, that's too much. Let me just get one card, please. What's this four of wands? Okay, the everything is fine card in reverse. This is the um, Ten of Swords in reverse. So I'm getting while somebody here is stuck and they're they're stuck doing something or they made the wrong decision and decided to go back to a toxic way of being and living, you're coming out of you're healing. You you're rising above whatever this is. So because somebody wanted to follow the crowd or or be a follower or do whatever the fuck, it's like somebody's stuck in the 3D. They don't really have any um spiritual enlightenment or they're just, somebody's just lost. It's just what I'm getting. But um the everything is fine card. Some of you guys or somebody here could be stuck in a in a marriage or in a home situation where it's just toxicity surrounding it. Or this is an environment here that somebody is stuck in. They're pretending like everything is okay. But I feel like in a minute, it's going to come out that it's not. This person in, this person is going to have some type of outburst or you are. Or something's just going to fall apart. Whatever this toxic shit is, it's going to fall apart. Okay, what, what's this four of wands with this everything is fine in reverse? Let me see. Um... Yeah, so Ace of Pentacles. So for some of you, you're getting a new offer when it comes down to your home life. Something about your security, your stability. This could be a new job. This could be an increase in money, finances. This could be a new um, business that you're starting. You're trying to plan and strategize with whatever this is. Yeah, because I feel like you're healing, you're growing, you're maturing, you're becoming more stable and secure. And then there's somebody else that's not or it could be this person they've learned from their past mistakes here but there's still some toxicity with the devil upright is still here still showing on the board so somebody could be somebody sees you as long-term commitment but because they i don't know it's like this person keeps following different crowds of people and it's like they're not in their purpose their purpose is not to be a damn follower is to be a leader uh, some of you i just heard something about flipping home some of you guys could be uh could be home flippers <laughs> or or you could be um you could renovate homes or something like that i don't know why i just got that but i feel like with all this yellow this talks about happiness joy celebration somebody here wants to reconcile with you but it's like they, their ways haven't changed or they're too scared it's like i don't know they want to reconcile but they just mm -hmm. So they're trying to plan this out or strategize this. They feel like, I feel like also this person feels that they don't have enough to do it. And then they have other people that they need to get rid of as well. So mm, what's this page of pentacles? Yeah, four of pentacles. Something about money. Something about someone's money. They're trying to save this, their last little bit of money. Or somebody's like penny pinching. Or they're... Uh, something about someone's stability. This person here is holding back from reconciling with you. I feel like they're trying to wait for the perfect moment to do this. You know, I, but this is their own fear, though. This is them being fearful and having the, these worries here. This is fear stopping this person. That's all that it is. They want to reconcile with you. Somebody sees you as long term potential. They're trying to plan and strategize it. Yeah. So, so where they where they lack structure or planning in the past, they're trying to do this differently now. But I feel like now they're holding back because they don't know what you're going to say or how you're going to react to something. And I also feel like they beat themselves up a lot because they feel like they don't have enough to offer you. So this could be somebody trying to get their shit together to do this. I feel like somebody's like saving up to give you a gift. The page of pentacles could be like a gift or a piece of jewelry, something that holds like that costs a lot, but it, you know, it's very valuable. So it doesn't have to mean money, but these are money. The pentacles are money. So they could be buying you like a piece of jewelry, a necklace or a goddamn ring or something. Something of value that costs money. They've been saving up saving up to do this for a long time. It could even be a marriage proposal that somebody's trying to give you. But mm, let me see. What's this devil with the two of wands in reverse? What is this? Okay, eight of swords in reverse. So yeah, like I was feeling, right? This is somebody. Somebody here needs to work through their fears of being judged, first of all. And also... 
I feel like they think that you're going to judge them. I feel like that's their biggest fear. They don't want you to judge them. They just want you to accept them. It's like this person doesn't want to, to go back over the past or talk about what happened in the past or the, the decisions that they've made. They just want to, they just want you to take them back or something. I don't know. But it's like, no, <laughs> it needs to be talked about. Somebody here. But the Eight of Swords in Reverse, it talks about coming out of a trap mentally. It talks about uh, coming out of fear or pessimism or always thinking negatively about something. You know, somebody could be getting out of jail. Somebody could be getting released from jail too. This person also, okay. So the Eight of Swords in Reverse, the Two of Wands in Reverse, and the Devil. This is talking about severe depression too. With all these surrounding this card, somebody is very much so depressed. Or they feel oppressed here. Somebody is like... This person, they miss you. Whoever this is, they really, really miss you. They, they're depressed. What's this Eight of Swords in Reverse right here with this Devil and this Two of Wands in Reverse? Yeah, the strength card, Leo energy. Yeah, whoever this is, they're in love with you. They have these strong feelings for you. I feel like they're really trying hard to hold themselves together. But it's, I feel like it's getting worse by the day. I feel like guilt is eating them up because they listen to other people. That This is the issue with this person. Somebody's, somebody's issue is just that. I feel like they're trying to release anxiety, though, but I feel like they go back and forth between fear and actually breaking free from fear and going towards what they love and what makes them happy. But their ego and their pride could be getting in the way, too. Yeah, unfulfilled and unsatisfied disappointment. So somebody here is upset. Some of you guys could already be getting an offer from someone here, a relationship that could be coming in. But I feel like this is this person. They're trying to come back. But they're fearful. Some of you guys could be getting um, approved for a home, though. I feel like this is approval for a home or something that you saved up for. Something big is, is happening here. And so with these big blessings coming in, you're going to have to release people and let them go. Because obviously, I'm just going to keep saying that the devil is still here. So there's still some toxicity surrounding this person or whatever environment you're in. Okay, so just be mindful. But uh, I feel like somebody somebody's like overly depressed. They're depressed. <clears throat> so what is disappointments? Yeah, five of cups, the full. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or an Aries or a Cancer with the chariot coming out. So yeah, this is somebody in regret. They took a big L. Somebody here took a big L, big loss. Somebody's like sad that you've moved on or you you've uh I just feel like you're, you're not scared to take risk or this is somebody in your energy, Capricorn. Somebody here is just not scared to take risk. The chariot talks about um, triumph over any type of situation that's going on, on, over any hatred or over any obstacles that's going on in your life. Okay, I feel like you're moving forward while somebody else is sitting here. I'm definitely feeling like three energies or, or maybe just two, but all these other people are here. I feel like they're a non-factor. <laughs> they're only a factor with the simple fact that you need to get rid of these people. But I just feel more so of this person's energy. And this could be this person dealing with this shit that they're going through. But I feel like you, there, there's a new beginning coming. Or this is this person. They want to take a risk towards you. They're really sad. They miss you. They're heartbroken. Yeah, the sun, the ace of cups. Be careful of pregnancy here. Because if you make up with this person, there could be a chance of pregnancy. Or this could be you being very fertile with new ideas. New things that you need to fucking... Um, put out there as far as your work goes possibly but now would be a good time for a baby okay with the sun the ace of cups showing right here this is fertility pregnancy okay manifestations happiness joy some of you guys are doing some type of inner child healing or or yeah you're needing to do this here because you're heartbroken or you're upset about something or this is this person yeah somebody is sad they really are sad somebody is fucked up they are fucked up without you Okay, what's the full? So I'm getting somebody really regrets a risk that they, that they took in the past. So somebody here did something that was risky and it was the wrong move. Now their ass is stuck. But what's the full right here? Yeah, the Empress. So this is you. <laughs> this is you, Capricorn. You're the Empress. Or if you're a cro cross watcher towards Libra energy that's watching for a Capricorn, you're the Empress. But uh, 
this person here wants to take a leap of faith towards you. I feel like this is you stepping into a new phase in your life because you're the one that could be cleaning house and getting rid of people that no longer serve you. And I feel like this could have been the hardest person to get rid of because they just don't want to change or compromise or, or, or work with you or something like that. Some of you guys could be pregnant though. Congrats, you could be pregnant. But I feel like you're 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 doing more spontaneous things. You're taking more risk here, and I feel like you're seeing the results of these risks that you're taking. Okay, and it could be saddening that you have to leave people behind, but it's just like it is what it is. The Empress is a divine feminine. Yeah, we have the Emperor in reverse and the Empress upright. So some of you guys could could have been dealing with a false twin flame or a karmic of some sort. There could have been a marriage. Or just a relationship where it was a deep bond or a soulmate connection where it was just unhealthy. Because this person would not get on their shit. They've been controlled by other people and you're you're growing away from that. You're outgrowing that energy. So, but what's the Five of Cups? What's this Five of Cups? You're the sun. So, enlightenment, exposure. You could be dealing with the um, Leo. Yeah, that's I'm, I'm feeling like an energy of like feeling bittersweet. Something is like bittersweet. You having to leave these people behind or even leave this person behind to get their shit together. And I just feel like, you know, it, it was a sad moment, but now you're getting ready to be happy. <laughs> Some of you guys are getting new love. Okay, new love could be coming in. Or this is just you pouring into yourself at this time. Pampering yourself, comforting yourself. You know, just pulling back your energy from people that just don't fit where you are in your journey. But I feel like this also, this is this other person's energy. This also pushed this person to do the healing work too. Because I feel like they were really struggling. Okay, but this sadness is kind of like exposing a lot of shit too. Somebody's like re in regret. Because you were this person's happiness. And they were too busy focused on their past and the shit that they were going through to really pay attention to you. And so they lost out on you. You know, they gave you time to grow. Now that you've grown, you're, you've moved on. And they just missed out on you, just period. What's the chariot? Yeah, the four swords. Yeah, so you've done the healing work. A lot of contemplating, thinking. Okay, I feel like this stressed you out for a very long time. You know. Yeah, this is meditative energy. So I feel like you guys have moved on and um, added like meditation in your routine practices and your, you know, just different things to help you move forward. But I, I mean, I do see that somebody is like disappointed or this is you. You're very disappointed in this person or something. But, um, yeah, seven of wands, two of cups. Yeah, ace of wands. Some of you guys could be in a relationship with someone here already. Oh, this is this person. Like, they're really in love with you. They have all this passion for you. But then there's then there's just bullshit behind them or something. But I feel like you've really thought about moving forward or staying. I feel like you were in a, like, very indecisive in the beginning or once before. But now you've really, you've thought on it. And you've done some healing. And so now it's time, you just want to break free, you know, and rightfully so. You can't stay stuck in the same predicament, but for so long, you know. But anywho, what's this um, cursing themselves in the Poetic Justice card? So you could be dealing with the Sagittarius with the Temperance, Page of Swords, and the Nine of Cups in Reverse, yeah. King of Pentacles, Two of Swords. So, um, yeah, I feel like this is you being protected from this energy because right now I feel like somebody is going through a lot of shit. There's somebody here that wants to heal something with you. They want to reconcile with you. So there could be communication from somebody. They want to tell you the truth about something too. The Page of Swords is um, standing up for yourself, defending yourself, uh, speaking your truth. This person could be kind of anxious though. They could be kind of paranoid, but I, I feel like somebody wants to balance something out with you. They just watch you. They really watch you for right now. Some of you guys, I'm hearing something about somebody being an earth angel. So some of you guys could be earth angels here. You're, you have a very healing energy to this person because I can feel it too as I'm doing the reading. But um, yeah, especially if you're a divine feminine. They are a divine masculine too, but they're distorted right now. They need to grow up still. Somebody here needs to do some growing up and releasing in order to be on your level. Because spirit is, spirit is not going to put you with this person until they heal. Until they do the healing work to become a divine masculine. Because you're not too divine just yet until you do the work. And somebody here has been trying to avoid getting rid of people and shit like that. And 
they've lost out on you or they're going to if they don't get it together. But nine of cups in reverse, it's like a shatter hopes and dreams. Somebody could be healing from an addiction or this could be you. You're healing from dealing with this damn person, but let me see. Um, let's see. So this is divine timing. So I feel like you've been really, really patient with this person or you, you're still patient with them. This is soulmate energy too, but I feel like this is more so you healing. This is you healing and finding peace and harmony in your life with the temperance or it's coming in if it's not with this major. That's a major arcana. So what's this nine of cups in reverse? Somebody here is very greedy. They're greedy. Yeah, five of pentacles. This put their ass in the five of pentacles. So somebody here is broke. They feel left out in the cold. There could be a court situation going on. Somebody here can be in family court or they're fighting, fighting with their family members a lot. But um, Five of Pentacles is talking about like hardships. It could even talk about homelessness. A wish did not come in for somebody. Somebody lost out on something because of their immaturity or their greediness, their selfishness got them in a, a world of trouble, basically. So yeah, they did curse themselves by making one wrong move. What's this page of swords? Yeah, five of swords. Yeah, they somebody here. <laughs> five of swords in reverse. They miss you. This person, I because I feel the energy like somebody really misses you like a lot. They want to come out of conflict with you. They feel so depressed and sad. Yeah, they want to come out of conflict. There could be some documents coming into for maybe a court case or something like that. I feel like um, patience is required for something that you're going through. It could be a court case or it could be something else. I don't know. Let me see. What's this page of swords? This is like delayed news or delayed communication that could be coming in from somebody. It's either this person or something that you're going through outside of this person. But what's the page of swords in reverse with the five of swords? I mean, what's this page of swords with the five of swords in reverse? Yeah. Three of Swords. You could be dealing with a Libra. Maybe go watch Libra's reading. Yeah, this this person is just heartbroken. <laughs> they are sad. Yeah. So they're, they're upset. They know that they've broken your heart. So that's why they're watching you move on with your life. But they know that they really, they really fucked up with you. They did. The High Priestess and the damn Ace of Swords. So this is you receiving the truth intuitively. So I feel like this person, they have not told you the truth at all. They haven't said shit to you because they're too fearful to say it. They're too cowardly to approach you. They're not going to say anything. They've been holding back. And I feel like intuitively you have seen the truth here. <laughs> yeah. You've seen that somebody was breadcrumbing you or giving you little to nothing. And I feel like you've closed the cycle out now. They could be getting intuitive insights and shit like that and awakening. And now they want to come back and it's like, well, they don't know how to do it. But uh, what's this temperance? Yeah, the six of wands. So some of you guys could be seen in the public eye here. Yeah, three of cups, four of cups. Yeah, somebody is like celebrating or out partying with friends and drinking and shit like that. And they don't even, they hate it there. They do not like doing this. They don't like, uh, they're very discontent with whoever they're with or partying with or whatever they're trying to do to mask the fact that they're upset. They're, they're not they don't like it or this could be you flip or switch it but the six of wands with the temperance yeah a lot of you guys are seeing in the public eye you're you're some type of earth angel you're here to help guide other people that's what you're here to do people put those type of people in here on earth for a reason yeah but i feel like you you really taught this person something about themselves the energy that they keep i mean the people that they keep i mean the company that they keep <laughs> that's what i meant to say yeah so hmm. I, don't know, I feel like somebody's battling addictions too they're battling some type of addiction or something so let's see what else for um i'm about to call you scorpio you could be dealing with a scorpio but what else for uh capricorn so we have get quiet, stay present, grounding. Now is not the time for detachment. Get centered in your body's awareness. Doing so will help to create the stability that you desire. 
So if you're trying to detach from yourself, your thoughts and shit like that, if you're trying to mask your thoughts with drinking, smoking, partying, uh, having sex with multiple people or whatever the fuck, it's not going to work. It's, it's just going to get worse. <laughs> so if that's what you're trying to do. You know, it's just best to not and just sit with your emotions so that way you can heal them. You know, and make moves. Okay, what else? For, um... Oh, shit, that's a lot. Okay, I'm going to read them all because maybe, maybe you need to hear it. Bottom of the deck is trust and believe, faith. It is time to have faith and believe that everything will work out for the best. Trust yourself and know that you will make the right decisions. Okay, so we have pause. Time to take a breather. Hang back and gather yourself. Resting even briefly will allow profound insights to arise and give you the energy you need to make it to the finish line. Yeah, in the beginning of your reading, I just felt like somebody has been overworking themselves. Somebody is like working, working, working to forget about shit. And it's just not going to work. Somebody doesn't know how to sit with themselves and do the healing work. They don't. But it says believe in better outcomes, expectation. Life delivers to us what we expect from it. Ask yourself, what is the best that could happen? Expect good things so life can rise up to meet you. Yeah, so be more positive, be more optimistic, speak good things, stop being so negative and pessimistic, you know. Yeah. Then we have, you know what to do, follow your heart. Quiet the chattering mind and fill the subtle pull of your heart. It offers you the wisdom that you need at this time. Okay. Then we have share the good vibes, celebrate. Celebrate life and just how far you have come on this journey. Find something to, re to rejoice about and then let yourself do a happy dance. So this is talking about showing gratitude. Be happy about what you have, okay? And just manifest what you don't have. But spirit is not gonna bring you anything else until you be grateful for what you do have. It's like, if you don't take care of one thing, you're not gonna get something better. You're not. Then we have, you are satisfied enough. Yeah, <laughs> did I just say that? What have you had enough of? Honor your limits and have the courage to speak them. Draw clear boundaries to honor both yourself and those in your life. Yeah, so, you know, enough is enough. It's time to set boundaries and put people in their place. Then we have, let's try this again, second chances. Don't give up. Sometimes we need a do-over. Give yourself or someone else another chance. Ideas may need to be revisited. So for some of you, Spirit could be telling you to have more patience with this person because they're, they're battling some type of addictions. They could have... um addiction to like superficiality like money or they could be very materialistic or something like that their views are off about their finances you know yeah i feel like also like i said in the beginning something about redemption somebody is going to be redeemed or something or they want to be redeemed let me get these cards up y'all okay hmm so let's see. What else for Capricorn Spirit? Okay, bottom of the deck is Divine Union, see? Sacred union between two souls, a divinely guided connection coming together, two people on the same team. So you are connecting to a divine masculine, divine feminine. I just feel like your masculine here is like distorted. They're going through something. Maybe spirit with the temperance here. Yeah, something has been delayed. So something is needing patience. Yeah, somebody here could be going through legal issues with somebody or just a situation in their life, but... This could be a same-sex relationship, too, for some of you. What else? So we have divination spying. Someone is consulting the tarot to get information on you, getting readings on you, asking a psychic. So somebody here, you could be the psychic. This person is watching you. Or they're, like, consulting somebody to see what their next move should be. You know, they're doing some spying here. Then we have ninth house. The situation involves someone's belief systems, religion, and idea ideologies. Ideologies, <laughs> sorry. Higher learning, travel, and philosophy. So you can have Sagittarius placements or a lot of ninth house, ninth house placements here. We have fourth house. This is Cancer energy. It says one sense of security, family, siblings, parents, ancestry, heritage, roots, one's housing and comfort. Hmm. Then we have tenth house. 
This situation involves someone's ambition, their motives, their rank in society, achievements, alkalis, and social class. That's Capricorn energy. That's you. Yeah. Then we have balling, having a luxurious lifestyle, wanting and having the most expensive things in life, pockets full. Yeah, I feel like somebody here, they're just they're just a bit materialistic. They don't, they place their value on the fact that, uh, I don't know, man. They don't like, they don't like not having any money. They feel like they, they, they're not worth anything if they don't have money. That's a way, that's a way of, uh. That's a belief system that needs to be getting rid of. Like, somebody needs to get rid of that shit. What else? But that's not healthy. This is why you are missing out on an opportunity with this person. It says regret. Someone regrets what they did to you, how they treated you, how they contributed to the mess. Yeah. Then we have nosy. All up in your business, asking too many questions, wanting every single detail. That could be the people around this person, whoever these people are in the beginning. That could be the people around this person or you. Flip it, switch it. But a lot of people are just fucking nosy. It's time to keep people out of your business. Yeah, then we have betrayal. Backstabbing, disloyalty, doing you wrong, betraying your trust. That could be an issue too with this person. This person has major trust issues. They don't know who to trust. That could be the problem. Then we have fifth house. So Leo energy, one's hobbies, interests, recreational and leisure activities, what one does for entertainment. Hmm couple more all right finessing it says smooth talking persuading or maneuvering something to take i mean to your advantage i feel like obviously this person is dealing with this or this is you dealing with a lot of these people that are, are finessers but um i feel like this person smooth talk you or they finessed you into getting what they wanted from you and this is this is the cycle that needs to be broken with this person because they feel like they have to smooth talk or be a certain way for to get attention from other people or whatever the fuck they're not really authentic. It's time for them to grow up and be their true authentic selves and stop following the crowd. That's the issue. Literally is what it's saying. Then we have third house. This is Scorpio energy. How one processes knowledge, rules, communication, one's generosity and social life. I'm sorry. I think this is Gemini. Isn't that? Oh, no. Gemini is a... Uh, is that Gemini? Yeah. Third house is Gemini. Sorry. That is Gemini. I think I said that wrong for somebody else's reading too. Hopefully they don't catch it. <laughs> but um, so you could be dealing with the Gemini or have third house, third house placement. So it says low vibes, low vibrational person, energy that feels dark, dense, and heavy, harboring suffering, fear, and anger. So this person could be around a lot of low vibrational people, or this is you. Somebody in your energy could be mad. Oh, here's something else. That you've ignored them or you talk, stopped talking to them. So now they're just acting like a damn fool. Then we have spirituality hater. Hating on your beliefs. Not liking that you're untraditional. Uncomfortable with your spirituality. So it's people around this person that um don't understand you. They don't understand what spirituality is. Or if they do, they don't like that kind of um thing. They don't like spirituality. They Maybe they're more religious than they are spiritual. So this person here, I'm getting something about arranged marriage or or this person, they're listening to their people and they maybe go by a different religion. They don't like the religion that you, I mean, the um, they don't like the fact that you're spiritual, just period. They don't like it. So this person feels like they have to conform to what these people want them to be or something like that, you know? So let's see what, um... What else for uh, Capricorn? I keep wanting to call you Scorpio. I don't know why. It says wake up early. Wake up early. I mean, <laughs> aim to wake up earlier in the morning to chase your dreams. <clears throat> so some of you guys definitely, yeah, then we have health checkup. Take charge of your health and schedule your annual checkup. So some of you guys need to go make a doctor's appointment or you need to go now because you could be needing rest. Somebody's like exhausted. Whoever this is, you or this other person. Yeah. All right, so we have go full introvert. Spend time alone to experience and appreciate and love yourself. Yeah, then we have live your dream. Never give up on your dreams. Dare to live the adventure. Then we have shadow work. Uncover every part of you that has been repressed and abandoned. So yeah, this could be what somebody's going through. I feel like somebody's going through a dark night of the soul. Like they are really in a dark place in their life and they're being forced to do the shadow work now. You know? Hmm. 
It says negative thinking. Unfounded negative thoughts are very worth being aware of. Yeah, so be aware of what you're thinking about at this time. Watch your thoughts because they manifest. You know, or transmute that energy. I mean, there's nothing wrong with having negative thoughts because that's every human being. But as long as you transmute it into something else and don't just sit in it and allow it to stop you from living your life and doing what you need to do, then cool. But it says have fun again. Learn to love life again and try to enjoy life more by having fun. Then we have clarify your desires. Cut through the confusion. Use your intuition to guide you. Hmm. <clears throat> bottom of the deck is awaken the witch awaken your dormant potential and unlock your inner witch so some of you guys are very powerful you're very powerful you're a natural witch you're a natural witch you have a lot of um abilities a lot of psychic abilities clairvoyance claircognizant clairsentient clairalicient you have a lot of these abilities that you haven't honed into yet that you need to because um yeah so let's see Oh, this is this person. They're unaware of their psychic abilities or something. But let's see. <clears throat> let's see what signs are significant. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have rising sign in Libra. So somebody's rising to be in Libra. Let's see what else for Capricorn. A few more. Okay. So bottom of the deck we have rising in Aries. Mars and Virgo. Let's see. North Node and Taurus. Venus and Leo. Mercury and Sagittarius. Moon and Gemini. Excuse me. Venus and Sagittarius. North Node and Aries. Jupiter and Leo. Rising and Scorpio. Okay. Jupiter and Sagittarius. Jupiter and Cancer. North Node in Pisces, rising in Capricorn, Mars in Taurus, rising in Virgo, Mars in Leo, Mars in Aries, North Node in Scorpio, yeah, Sun Sign in Libra, that's probably why I'm getting this Scorpio energy, somebody's North Node, I feel like somebody's trying to break free of a karmic, like, lesson or something like that and go towards their North Node, Sun Sign in Sagittarius, Mercury in Aquarius, uh, rising in um, Pisces, Mars in Gemini, rising in Sagittarius, Mercury and Taurus, rising in Aquarius, Jupiter and Aquarius, Venus and Taurus, North Node and Leo, Venus and Scorpio, and then we have Jupiter and Pisces. So these signs could be significant to you in your journey on um, Capricorn. I hope this resonated. If we, if it did, like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification on. I mean, turn your notification bell on. Make sure you guys press the all button so you guys can get notified for when I post for you. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.